Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump officially gets primary challenger for 2020 GOP nomination in stunning betrayal. In a stunning betrayal, a former Republican governor has officially announced his intention of fighting Trump for the GOP primary in 2020. What a disgrace, a total insult to the sitting president of the United States. Look this guy, Bill Weld, doesn't stand a chance but it could drain some of Trump's resources if his campaign is remotely credible. That said, he has little support among the GOP base and in reality, the Democrats will destroy each other in their primary leaving a wounded duck for Trump to trounce in 2020. From CNN, former Massachusetts Governor Bill Weld announced Monday he is officially entering the race for president, becoming the first Republican to challenge President Donald Trump in the 2020 race. Ours is a nation built on courage, resilience, and independence. In these times of great political strife, when both major parties are entrenched in their win-at-all-cost battles, the voices of the American people are being ignored and our nation is suffering," Weld, who had previously formed an exploratory committee, said in a statement. It is time for patriotic men and women across our great nation to stand and plant a flag. It is time to return to the principles of Lincoln, equality, dignity, and opportunity for all. There is no greater cause on earth than to preserve what truly makes America great. I am ready to lead that fight." From CNBC, William Weld, the former two-term governor of Massachusetts, announced Monday that he will challenge President Donald Trump for the Republican nomination for president in 2020. I'm in. Weld said in a tweet announcing his candidacy, the first so far by a GOP contender to try to deny Trump's bid for a second term in the White House. Weld plans to be in New Hampshire on Tuesday for the first of two days of campaigning. New Hampshire holds the first primary of the 2020 nomination contest, and has long been seen favorable campaigning grounds for both Republicans and Democrats from neighboring Massachusetts. However, Trump retains high popularity among Republicans, which, if sustained, will make it very difficult for any challenger to defeat him in a contest for the GOP nomination. Weld a former United States attorney appointed by President Ronald Reagan who later was elected as a Republican to governor of Massachusetts, was the Libertarian Party's nominee for vice president in 2016. Former New Mexico Governor Gary Johnson was the Libertarian presidential nominee that year. In a statement, Well described his intention to return the United States to the principles of Lincoln, equality, dignity and opportunity for all. There is no greater cause on earth than to preserve what truly makes America great. I am ready to lead that fight, Weld said. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.